to the Misfits Show. Just kidding. We're not the Misfits Show. We are the Eternal Cycle. We are the Misfits Incorporated, which is our company. That's what we do. And we are here to tell you a great story. Skyflash, would you please give us a recap for those who have not um, or do not remember? Last time on the Eternal Cycle Origins... We wrapped up our we wrapped up our little skirmish with the um, Maharaja slash Nightingale slash Exiled Revenants little and Ancient Elven King clusterfuck. <laughs> I was punched through. I was punched. I was punched through several dimensions. This one and one that was like black. That was like black ichor and mud everywhere, which was a really weird. Nightingale decided she's had in Nightingale decided I am wo- I woefully I di- did not prepare enough for this and left I was brought back here and then I got taunted by a do du- by a black cloaked man whom I do not recognize and we went and found Ra- we went and found Rosgreaves in the forest uh after discovering what the maharaja did to them long story short it was not fun the putting him back together nor the discovering of what happened but it's okay we managed to isolate their hearts and now they are fully regenerated we are, we are now in like this meeting me, Aldrea and Lucian are now in this meeting with Black Ro- with uh, all of Black Rose's officials and I have st- and Specifically where we left off is I have stated to Dracula that I'm going to help him research, but also to grab Firespell and bring her along, too. Uh, However, he was giving... Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Sadagir was like, with great caution. Uh, And yes. Yes. Up to date. Yes. Now that we have established up to dateness, need everybody to roll for initiative. (laughs) Hoo-ha-ha! Oh no! Oh crap! Seventeen. He it, it he, was a number, but then it knocked into mine, and they both became fifteen. So he rolled an eleven, and I rolled a fifteen, and it knocked. Okay, into he his. saw it. Okay, so I wasn't able to read by the time. All right. All right. So, what'd you get? Seventeen. Seventeen. So, so Ross Greaves, Ross Greaves Sky, Sky Flash, Flash Statagar. Nice. And this will hold for the rest of the episode. I don't believe you. <laughs> Um, unless combat happens, and if you manage to get combat in this next session, I will be completely and utterly amazed. Oh, I'll just fight the bellhop like he did. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was a hotel manager, but I just insist that it's the bellhop. That was not a fight, okay? That was a massacre. That was a misunderstanding. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs> Hey. So, what are you going to do? I should go find an A.S. and grovel. <laughs> but I don't know where she's at. You could look. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Perception check. Two. <laughs> yeah, you fucking found nothing. I don't, I don't even have to go to grab her to hide from you. Your I'm like, places are immaculate, and you can't stop staring at them. <laughs> like, you got swept up in other shit and forgot to even look. Oh, yeah. no. I need to see how productive you were. Roll. D20. Ten. <laughs> Progress. <laughs> Pretty decent, actually. Pretty good progress. Um, you did help um, the servants and as some of the other knights collect their gear. Um, everybody's packing up this battle that has been officially concluded. It will be brought before the Council of Gods to be determined um, if the fight was legitimate or not. Problem with that is that the Fey Queen and the Fey King aren't going to fucking. The Fey Queen isn't going to do her job. Well, it's not that she can. Even if yeah. she were immortal, she would have to vote her yeah. husband's side. Exactly. So. 
All right. Politics, but not sky flash. So you did beat the Statagar. Mm-hmm. You are in the second place. Yep. It is your turn. All right. I'm gonna grab a guy. Okay. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna go up to a dude who lo- looks like he's not doing anything. And go, hey, you need it. You want a job real quick? <laughs> uh, me, sir? Yes. yes, you. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Okay, come with you're, me. You're a knight, right? Oh, I'm not a full fledged knight. I'm an initiate. Oh, cool. Maybe. You, yeah, and he kind of follows you <laughs> as you like speedily walk away. All right, I'm gonna go to fire spells. <laughs> Tent. Tent. There are scorch marks coming out of the entrance. I'm gonna be like, open the tent for me. <laughs> He looks at the door and he goes, I, I don't think I should. Now, mind you, it looks like to him, I, I do want to point yes, out that he's yep. under illusionary magic right now, and to him, he sees fire coming out of the sides of it, <laughs> out of the sides of the door instead of the scorch marks. So he sees this tent that's just like burning from the like, inside out. Doing hellfire out of it, and he's just What's like... The- I'm, door. I, How do I open fire? <laughs> yeah, he's looking at the like, A, that's not right. B, that's not right. And C, no. This is not right. <laughs> I'm going to be like, fine. Just stand in front of the door while I open it then. Uh, so uh, you're like, uh, moving uh, around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you open the door, he explodes with a lightning bolt. <laughs> that's why I needed him. <laughs> Meat shields. You killed an innocent man. <laughs> you pulled a Ross Green. Yes! <laughs> right on his fall into the depravity of the dark side. What do you mean I've fallen? This is how Zap. I... This is, oh! that, that's how he is, my dude. Good thing he's a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> um, I... I go, I go to his puddle and I go. Sorry, I needed, I needed someone to take a bullet for me. <laughs> you do see his heart thumping. Do you want to go quickly take it to the medics while the door is now open? Yes. <laughs> I take it. I bring him to the medics. I at least take him to the hospital. Marlo looks at you and goes, "This is the third motherfucker." You know what? If you bring me another heart, I'm going to take yours. Okay. Neither, none of those three are my fault. And you know it. Mm-hmm. You have no right. Mm-hmm. Correction. One of the three is your fault. <laughs> I didn't kill him. You literally <laughs> brought him to the door that you knew was loaded with a trap. <laughs> maybe he would. Maybe it, it, it wouldn't have been. It was premeditated. <laughs> Look. <laughs> There is no justifying this. No, no, the the ends justify the means. I didn't know <laughs> you're he would not die. damaged. <laughs> I prob I thought he probably would die. I had a, I, had a, I had it in good conscience he would live. It's just unfortunate that he didn't. He did. Dish. It's just unfortunate that he didn't in one piece. He, yeah, there you go. That's more correct. <laughs> and I go back to the door. This door's still open. I walk in and be like, knock, you knock. fall straight through the earth. Well, this... And then continue to fall. Hmm. For an unusually long time. This is unusual. Yes. What is wrong with this I will <laughs> use the super flight I now have. Okay. To stop myself when it fall. Okay. I'm going to look down. There is no bottom. Oh, that's why. I'm going to go back up. There's no top. Okay. You go up for an unusually long time, too. You're just like... All right, then. Ha! Huh. All right, then. Let's play with... All right, then. Time to play with portals, and then I just drop, I guess. Okay. Because... You can continue to fall. I don't... I don't know what to do. I don't know what you want me to do here. <laughs> Spell the illusion. <laughs> you don't... That's my... Okay, this is my fucking problem with you and illusion magic. What? If you don't fuck... Either you don't make it obvious or that... Like, with shit like, with shit like this, uh. that's what... Because, like, okay, 
I don't know what to fucking do here. I'm sorry. I, I couldn't. I don't know what's going on. I actually. <laughs> that's I, the that's the oh, point I kind of it out. Yeah, well, you just kind of fell. You it's, just kind yeah. of have to throw a bet at it. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> anyway, I'll dispel the illusion that. All right, go ahead. Six. Very stubbornly took you a minute before you realized that you were an illusion and you tapped your way out of it. You are now looking at Firespell, who looks at you and goes, of course you're the one who gets through all of it. Hey, hey I'm, I'm, a, I'm a magical prodigy. Do you expect something else? Mm, at, least pe- at least people say I'm one. Yeah, that's what they said about me. Anyway, what can I do <laughs> Dracula sent me to pick to come pick you up. He wants he wants the both of us to come and uh, research some magic with him. Ooh, what are we looking at? She kind of crosses her leg coy, coyly at you. The teleportation magic used to transport an entire army, as well as reality hopping. Ooh. She kind of like nods her head real quick to you, like leaning forward, suddenly interested. Mm-hmm. She could, did, could have cared less about the teleporting an army, but you said the words reality hopping, and she went up. Mm-hmm. So it turns out Nightingale is very proficient at it. Ooh. I will. Fucker pulled me through a dimension. Jesus. She kind of looks to you, and then she blinks, and her eyes seem to, like, change colors. Mm-hmm. Oh, would you look at that? That is so... Magical reading you're giving off. Hmm. She stands and she goes, I accept. Alright then. And Good. she walks out of the the tent completely fine. Good enough with me. Alright. Stadigar. Still feel sorry for the man who was blasted to death. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I no longer have my moral compass. <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm the only one with those. I'm the only one that has one of those still, I think. So. We're still on the battlefield. We don't know. Oh, no, you guys uh, You guys are packing up to leave. Yeah, yeah. And we're still having to get stuff in the future. So I... Need to check on Naeus because she needs to be accounted for. She's like my left or right hand. I forget which one, but she's your right. Yeah, she's important. Yes, you know exactly where she is. She's not hard to find for you. <laughs> but we're linked. Yes, <laughs> you're literally linked to any one of your sisters. You know yeah. exactly where they are. Yeah, and if you don't, that's very worrisome. Yeah, like whenever I was in the middle of war. And, and she wasn't there. <laughs> yep. She is uh, hiding out in the uh, the nurses' tents, mm-hmm. helping Keel. All right. Hmm. So she's good. She her feelings, however, are those you were not expecting: betrayal. Misunderstanding, yeah. kind of some regret. A sharp pain in her midsection because being torn in half still sucks. <laughs> she pretty much lost conscience as soon the split second after. Yeah. So she wouldn't have known what that felt like. Yeah. I just kind of consolidate her. Like, okay. Yeah. All right, roll. Mm, I'm gonna get a resistance roll though. She got a 10. Mid range. To my 8. So she's not too pissed off at me. No, she's not pissed off at you, <laughs> but you you do try to use soothing words and they yeah. just aren't effective. That's fine. Alright, Ross Grease. Big man helps small man. <laughs> I guess I'll continue to help pack it up. Okay, roll. And if in the meantime I find Naeus, I find Naeus. Roll for perception. It is a three. 
She walked right in front of you. <laughs> Let's see why. Probably carrying a bunch of boxes. <laughs> no, she was carrying. She, you just like didn't even see her. No, I was She's... saying I was probably carrying a bunch of boxes. Oh yeah, no, you were like looking ahead, and you just didn't even register. Like your brain didn't register that it was her. She mm-hmm. walked right past you, not registering you were there either. So, fair enough. Why are you being a dick to me today? So you didn't know where they were. <laughs> Is it because I told, said I was going to whore out on you? Yeah, they heard it. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Scaffler. All right. Hmm. Hmm. My day is not working as well. You finally arrive at uh, Black or Dracula's tent. His is, of course, the most lavish one. Of course, lots of pillows everywhere. Way more servants than you thought at all necessary to go to war with. He has the money. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> he doesn't care. He literally doesn't. <laughs> and they are slowly taking it down. So you can see him kind of sitting in, and he's bent over some books, his yeah. feet up, you know. Yep. Obviously not partaking. Obviously not. <laughs> I call out, and I go, hey, I brought fire spell. Ah... Uh, well, you can grab that book, and he, a book from the shelf that they are currently moving flies up and comes flying at you. You want to catch that? <laughs> okay. <yes. laughs> catch it with your teeth. <laughs> My 23 physical counting and human. 20. Yeah, you just snatch that motherfucker and spin it like, oh yeah. Yep. Boom. I just catch it, spin it on my finger, and throw it like a basketball and put it down. <laughs> and he throws one at fire spell, and she just catches it and looks at you like, no flare. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. Alright, let's see if you guys understand any of the shit you are reading. Uh, purple is Dragula, uh, gold is fire spell. An 11 and a 11. And that one is on the line. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. It is too. So, so the bull is not I'll flat. hold it flatter out. One, two, three. Ten, nine. nine. So, yeah, for the most part, you guys help each other through it. Mm-hmm. You, you got more than you needed. And, uh, yeah. So you guys did sit there and figure out exactly, more or less, what was happening is is she was jumping between realities, but the more concerning part is for her to jump between them, she had to have already visited them. Hmm. So. That is concerning. So we have to figure out, so more specifically, if we want to make any headway, we have to figure out where she took me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Then that will be solved your next turn. Yes, it will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. You guys' camp will be completely dissolved in four turns. Hooray. Somebody count it. E4. I got it. It's right here. Put it on four. It's on four. Yep. And that will take place on Ross Grease's next first turn. So this, his next turn is when it starts the countdown. All right. Okay. So, so Aldrea, what do you do? Whatever Aldrea does best. Bitch at me? <laughs> I mean, I don't know about the body yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't be so good at it if she wouldn't have to have to constantly be training it. <laughs> All right, come on, man. I know. What you thinking? What you feeling? He's finding his character sheet. No, I have it. It's just... We have four turns. Yeah, because one of the things I want to do is see about that flower that's in the purge realm, but I don't think it's important right now. I'm sure it's still just there, not doing its thing that I want it to do. You could go and check. Yeah. I'm going to check it, I guess. It's (laughs) one of its flower lilies. Yeah. The, The petals has started to blossom. I want to know what it does. It's new. <laughs> I want to know. 
Although you do notice that there's a lot more flowers okay. starting to pop up, not just <laughs> the one. It's now that vine is now starting to get covered in these black flowers. I don't remember if I asked anybody else if this has ever happened. So I should ask somebody, like Marlo. Can I ask Marlo? Yeah. You are, um, you actually call Marlo over in the bird room because you actually see her running around. Mm-hmm. And she actually looks at you and goes, I was going to ask you <laughs> if you did this. I mean, <sighs> it might be related to my, like, nymph heritage. Like, maybe foliage just goes to whatever realm I, like, I don't know. Because the previous one was a nymph, so it should have been here for them. So I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's because I'm a light sister. Or, I don't know. It's a flower. I'm intrigued. I just want to remind you that you're <laughs> you're the sisterhood of the Black Lotus now. Yeah, which is what these flowers are. <laughs> well, the they're they're lily lotuses. Yeah, they're a mix between a lily and a lotus. Yeah. It's like as of right now, it's not hurting anybody, so I don't want to like destroy it. <laughs> still curious about it. Mm-hmm. Will that be my turn? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm sure if I need to think of anything else. Hey, Roz Grace. I'm already on the way back. We made it your turn. <sighs> I talked Please about flowers. start the counter. So it is at four. It is now at four again. Oh, no, fuck. It's, it's, it's at four. Yeah, it's at four. It got stuck in my finger and almost flew away. <sighs> Go for it. Try. All right. Another perception check on this. Eight. <laughs> progress. It is progress, but not enough. As you continue to search the camp, a image of a black room fills your head. And you kind of are shaken to your core. The black room only has one identifiable thing that you can see in it. A vine made of white on a column. It kind of blinks in and out of existence, screeching and making this horrid kind of like Tyrannosaurus Rex like screech, but like if the harmonics were really up, like a chipmunk screech. So auto-tuned the fuck out of it. Yeah, like (laughs) awful, just terrible screech. Almost to the point, like you drop to your knees from the weight of whatever just assaulted your mind. And that is how it feels, is something assaulted your mind. Somebody punched you in the brain, goo. Oh, shit. He dropped his laptop. No, I threw my laptop. It's even worse. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Now you can't get your warranty on it. (laughs) Oh, I never had one. I only paid 50 bucks for the thing. Yeah. to try and just see what's a, a way out possibly um, which way you're going towards the door or towards the vine probably going to be the stupid idea but go towards the vine okay you go towards the vine and you touch it nothing it's just this pillar in this like interrogation style room with this white vine on it, and you touch it, and you feel something, like black electricity, you can't see it. But other than that, I can't see it, but I can sense it. Mm -hmm. So therefore, to me, that says magical. Mm -hmm. So, and as you attempt to do something, you are screeching, same sound, back to reality. Okay, I'm going to have to talk to somebody about that shit. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go find Aldrea. (laughs) (laughs) Well, with your perception checks. (laughs) Sky flag. Attempt to find. Okay. So... I know Dracula and he probably has a fuck ton of books right now, but I'm going to get 
everything he has on geography, mm-hmm. both physical and magical. Okay. So that includes astral planes and shit. Gotcha. And I'm going to try, and I'm going to sift through them, find, tr- going to find a reference to a place, uh, to like, ice, like uh, Nightingale took me to this Black Icarus location. Okay, go for it. I rolled a four. That's not happening. Yeah. You found. 24 separate locations, including one that Dracula swears is another planet in our cosmos. That's fucking crazy talk, but... <laughs> um... Okay. Well, that narrowed it down. So you have 24 possible yeah. locations. Hello, good sir, of the yes. Staticar variety. I didn't know I had a variety. You are the variety. I am the variety. Now. What do you want to be born? Well, Malu has no idea about the plant. The plant's blooming. The plant's good. Supposedly. I... I mean, I had an idea of, like, what could be happening with the plant. So I was wanting to investigate if there was any runes etched into it. Go ahead. Seven. You push against the pillar, and for the slightest moment, you could swear you could feel someone on the other side. (laughs) Just for a moment. And then they disappeared. We're on to something. <laughs> but that would be out of game knowledge. <laughs> so don't metagame. Yeah. But I'm still curious to, as far as like... I will give you one more action. Yeah. So now I'm feeling like, oh, this is some type of veil. Or there's something on the other side. And I'm curious yeah. as to like, what's on the other side of the domain that I reside over? I need to know. I need to know what my next door neighbors are and why they put a door here, essentially. Disguised as flowers. You gonna try to force (laughs) it open? See, the term force makes me concerned. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, will it open? Yeah. Try to find its opening. Open the door. Yeah. See if there's a window. (laughs) Yeah, I'll, I'll thin out the veil, but I don't want to, like, bust it down. You are going to search. Yeah. Hey, uh, Rosgreet, <laughs> I need you to roll to stay conscious. Twelve. Twelve. You barely are, you're screeched back into that room like someone is literally yanking you. Oh, so I'm getting That screech <laughs> is horrifying again. This door needs some Stadigar, forty. Yeah. Your head starts to scream. Like you literally grab your head in pain. Yeah, I didn't uh I didn't fortify myself before I was like, oh yeah, this fucking <laughs> You need to roll to stay awake. Uh, I'm gonna use this bull. Four. Four. I don't think that's happening. You pass out for a turn. Skip your next turn. Alright. I'm in my realm. I'm safe. And, um, take two or three, please. Yeah. Ross Grease, you are then violently jerked back out of the room. God damn it! <laughs> I almost had him. <laughs> I, don't know what to, I don't know what it would do. Because to my character's knowledge, that's still a door of some sort, and it's hurting me. In my own realm, it's not cool. <laughs> Yeah, you were just as quickly jerked out of reality, and then you were jerked back into reality. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much! Mm-hmm. I think that's a... That is a fair yeah. assessment. Like, I'm going to give you... You vomit blood. It just explodes out of your mouth. Just, oh. As everybody around is like... oh. And that's not the blood that you drank earlier this morning. <laughs> that was your own blood. Yeah, that's <laughs> your <laughs> Your ears are... Literally busted. Like, your eardrums are shattered right now. I'm going to a medic. 
I kicked both our asses. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking flower dwarves. <laughs> As you walk in, you come face to face with Naeus. She found you. <laughs> she found me. She doesn't even make a word. She just sits you down. And she goes to work checking your wounds. Um, she shoves this like seaweed sponge in your ears to promote healthy. So it'll produce. <laughs> you cannot hear and you cannot speak for an entire turn. And the rest of your turn is spent healing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that fucking hurt. Yeah. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> finally now, mind that. you, I want to point out that your characters yeah. do not know, yeah, we don't know either event is correlated. Yeah. I just you know. think that right now you're being mentally assaulted by some son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. And you're just curious. That, you're yeah. just <laughs> like, oh, is this a door? Why is this door hurt? <laughs> All right. I so you're presence. actually going to get two turns because we're going to have to skip. Yeah, it, both and he of us. needs a turn to heal. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's I mean, what you get. <laughs> so I need to figure out how to efficiently uh, sit through twenty four of this of very similar locations. Okay. Hand uh, motions are being made. I I actually. I'm going to, uh, I guess I can just ask the other two what they know, what the significant ones are, I guess, if um, they know. It's, it's doing that thing again. I know it's doing that thing. Okay. Damn uh, that thing. Um, so they do know actually quite a bit. Um, there are four primal, prime prime suspects, sorry. Yep. One of them happened to be what they called what used to be Eden. Yep. Eden is a um, black ichor dimension that was actually created by the gods mm-hmm. way beyond most recorded history. Um, some enemy, it's, it's more of a form of punishment to those who came before. Um, that one is, could be a possibility. You're also looking at one of the depths of hell Mm -hmm. is covered in complete and utter ichor. Actually, four of the levels of hell are covered in ichor. So that's five locations. No, no, four levels. Yeah. But it's in hell. Yeah, hell. One dimension. So far, it's hell, Eden. Um, one that, again, is that Squares is a planet in their known cosmos. A planet. A planet. And the final one is on the edge of what they call the known galaxy. It is an insane planet. Pretty much no survivability. Alright. So... The fact that we didn't go to that place and immediately die is testament to yeah. it's probably not the last one. It's yeah. not the last one. No. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the fuck Dracula's talking about when he says planets, so... <laughs> right. <laughs> because, you know, given our current time. Right, right. You're like, you tell me that that tiny little speck in the sky... Is a, it's the size it's, of this? Is it yeah. the size of the thing we're standing on? You're fucking crazy. You're right. fucking loony, Dracula. Um. Alright. I can't get to hell, and that would entail dealing with demons, and that's probably a very unpleasant thing. Dracula giggles. <laughs> Alright, we're, all right, we're trying hell last, then. Yeah. Because of Reggie. <laughs> Guarantee you Reggie would be preferable. Yeah. Reggie is a later style demon that are a little bit more carefree. You're talking OG demons who are nothing but business. Yeah. So. They take their jobs very seriously right now. So I go, alright then. This Eden thing. Eden. Oof. I'm going to have to go get a permit. 
Oh, I... This is gonna be a fun time, isn't it? No. <laughs> and that is where we will stop for now. Um, we will catch you guys next time. We will be starting off on turn two of everybody's, which, um, for those who are keeping track, um, I want everybody to have an absolutely wonderful rest of the day. Happy New Year, and uh, we'll be back soon. Catch you guys <laughs> later.